Okay, so I just want to show you guys how to run the C++ version of PyTorch. It's real simple. So first things first, you need to go to pytorch.org right here. Real simple. Press get started. And you need to get the correct version. So whether you're on Linux, Mac, or Windows, you pick what you need. What you need is libtorch. Get libtorch. If you have CUDA, you pick the correct version. If you don't have CUDA, you press none. Um, I prefer to download this version right here, but if you want to download this version right here, here as well, it's fine. Should work just as well. Um, after that, we will just be following this little tutorial installing C++ distributions of PyTorch. Simple. So this basically just did what I just told you. Just get that file, then you unzip it, and there we go. So first things first, we need to make our files that we need. So we'll go here. Well, let's make a directory. We'll call this directory. Um, CPP, and then we'll go into the CPP directory. Okay, so we need two files. We need our touch file. I mean, I mean our main file. So let's make our main file, and then we need our CMix file. So we'll do that as well. Um, you can use whatever ID you want. You don't have to use Vim. So I'm just using Vim, just for the sake of use. Um, so. We need another thing as well. We need a, a directory. So we, let's make another directory. We'll call this our build directory. This is just basically where our make file is in our executable stay at. So let's first deal with our main file. So we'll include the simple stuff, our little stream, and main, and then we'll just print out a test. This is a test. Bam. Okay, simple. Okay, so we need to make our CMake file. Okay, so for our CMake file, we need a couple of things. So we need our we need to basically set the CMake version. Set our version to the most recent version, which is 3.2, I believe. We'll create a project name and we'll call it Torch. Call it Torch um, Test, I guess. And we'll set our, we're going to set this variable, we'll call it our CMake prefix path. Yeah. And basically, what this is is this just links to wherever you save that libtorch file that you downloaded. So for me, I saved it in my downloads directory, and it's right here. So right there. So that's all you're doing. Just link to set this variable to wherever you save that libtorch. Um. Now we need to find our pytorch library make that required and we need to set our flag so we'll do that as well and our torch flags as well cool now we need to add an executable so we already made our main file so that's gonna be our executable reference for that so bam we'll set to be the project name which is torch test and we'll that's our main CPU thing file. Now we need to link our torch library to our executable. So we just do target link libraries and we'll set it to our project name and we'll say torch libraries. Cool. And then we need to set property. Oops. And target project name property. Oops. Property CSX standard 14. Okay. So just to go over this again. Our minimum CMake version, whatever you want to name the project, I can call this whatever I want. I could call it tutorial, tutorial, whatever I want, whatever. I spelled that wrong, but 
you can name this whatever you want. So we'll call it torch test. Leave it like that. Um, this is just where this is just a variable that we need to reference. Uh, this may or may not be needed depending on how you have PyTorch installed. If you have the Python version on the Conda, then you probably might not need this. Uh, this just says we we need our PyTorch um, C++ file library library is required. Uh, add our executable, link the libraries, and then the standard stuff. Okay, so we already made our build directory, so let's go into that. It's an empty directory. Let's clear it, and we need to make a compile everything. So first thing you do is c make dot dot. Now, before I run this, reference we're referencing um this right here. Usually, you would have to like I said specify the path, but we already made this variable, so we don't have to do all this. But if you have the conda version, you can simply run this right. But Assuming you downloaded everything, you don't have to run this. You can just simply run cmake dot dot. So we'll do that. The dot dot just references where the cmake list file is listed at. So we do cmake dot dot, and you can see everything compiled. We have a CUDA, a CUDA in, compiler, blah blah. Now we have that. All we do is do this. We can do. We can either run make, or we can do cmake dash dash build dot dash dash config release. Bam, we've done that. We can do a ls, we see our torch test. And all we do is this, torch test. This is a test. Now, hey, we haven't linked, done any PyTorch stuff, so we'll get out of here. And let's see what, what we did work. So we'll go into our main CCP file, and we'll include our the torch path. So torch slash torch dot h. And then we can delete this. And let's make a torch sensor, right? So we have a torch sensor. X, we'll call it X is equal to torch random. It's like some random numbers, a three by three tensor. And what we'll do with this, we'll just simply print it out, right? So we'll print it out. Let's delete this. Go on to the next line. We'll print it out. Print out our X. And see what we have. So, all we have, we made a random tensor, three by three tensor, and it's gonna print out. So let's get out of here. Let's go back into our build directory, and let's just we can do like I said before. I ran the cmake dash build config thing. You could just simply run make. It'll do the same thing, and we'll wait for that to compile. Okay, we have the executable, and then we could just run it again. Torch test. And there you go. We have, let me clear this out. Run it again. We have our 3x3, and it's on the CPU. Now, if you, like I referenced before, I said you could download the CUDA version as well, so let's actually try that out. So it's very simple. You simply come back to the variable. Okay, cool. We referenced it. And all you have to do is this torch, and then you just put K CUDA. Bam. Real simple. Go back into our build, run make. Okay, we'll wait. Just clear this out, and we'll run our torch test. And now you can see. That's a CUDA float tensor. It's not. It's not on the CPU anymore. But that's all. It's real simple. Just install it. Run through all the steps I just said, and then you should be good to go.